And that march looks to accomplish two things. Number one, allow families to honor their loved ones who have fallen victim to violent crime. And number two, encourage communities to report crime to authorities. Catherine Stokes. One by one, the names announced of victims of some of Santa Cruz County's most violent crimes spoken and remembered. Their pictures carried by loved ones. Today's march is the seventh annual march uh, for victims of crime, mm -hmm. Solidarity March. Hosted by the Santa Cruz County District Attorney's Office. It's a chance for some families to come together and share their stories of grief. We're here today to remember my father and celebrate his life. But the march is also a call to the community to help report crime. We're really trying to encourage people uh, to come forward and to report crime to law enforcement. It's why Roxanne Patain traveled Dennis all the Neal. way from Las Vegas to be here tonight, to get answers for her sister. Her name is Corey LeMaster. They knew her here as Pognip Jane. One of the most notorious murder cases on the Central Coast. According to authorities, LeMaster was murdered in Pognip Park in 1994, but she wasn't identified until 2013. For over 20 years, we didn't know what happened to her. LeMaster was bludgeoned to death, but to this day, it remains a mystery as to who killed her. The tank said she's coming back to the next life, hoping that someone will come forward and deliver justice for her sister and their family. My family's gone. I'm pretty much me and my daughter, the only ones left of my immediate family. So voice, she still has a voice. Then I'm not going to cry, but she still has a voice. The district attorney told me tonight that oftentimes it's those like undocumented immigrants and the elderly that are intimidated into not reporting crimes. Aaron, Dan. All right, Christopher, thank you. A number of similar marches are taking place around the state as part of National Crime Victims Rights Week.